Hey guys, what's up? It's Kyle from Cairo Apps here. Um, it's my second video for today, and as you can tell by the title, it is going to be about sending an uh, email from your application. Now we're going to be doing this by a round rec button. Um, it can be you can customize it in your app however you want, but I'm just gonna keep it simple. Um, now there is a ton of code, so I will be copy and pasting, and I will have a text file uh, saved to the, uh, in, I mean, sorry, it'll be in the description box, as well as the actual project itself, it, itself if you want it for uh, reference later on. Um, but let's uh, just get started here. Uh, go ahead and open up Xcode. Wait for that to load. Um, create a new project. Make it a single view application. And we're going to name this send email, just for the purpose of this video. Um, as I said in the last video, we only use storyboards, and it is always going to be a device, which is going to be iPhone. So go ahead and press next. Save it to the desktop for easy uh, accessing. And when we first enter up here, Go, actually, we have to stay in here, and it's going to be slow. So what we need to do is we actually have to add a framework. Now, framework, it has certain files in there that um, are certain. So let's just go ahead and go to just like send email for mine. Scroll down until you see linked frameworks and libraries. Select the plus button. Now, here we can get uh, some examples. Right here is an audio toolbox. That basically is going to give you the ability to have audio in your app. Um, for example, if you want audio to be played when a button is pressed. That is also with AV Foundation, there's two ways. Actually, there's multiple. But here we have the Game Kit, which is uh, Game Center uh, for your app, or third party, uh, what do they call them? Networks. Um, but we're going to be scrolling all the way down until you see message UI. Go ahead and press add. And what I like to do is I like to keep them organized. So select it and drop it down into the frameworks file. And we're good. So now we uh, can go into main storyboard and select it. Go to objects down here in the utility and find the round rack button. Just drag it right over to your project. I'm going to center mine. And I'm going to call it contact us. After you've added the button, uh, just go ahead and select uh, view controller. Uh, go to attributes. No, sorry, don't go to attributes. We want to actually go into the button just above the editor, and we can actually close the utility, um, and right-click the button, and drag this little blue uh, arrowy thing just under the interface. We are going to want to make an action, and we are going to call it send email. So we're, it's going to be an action connect to this button. Connect it, sorry. It's going to be touch up inside, which is usually what you would use. And it's going to be a sender. Go ahead and connect that. And now we have this here. Um, now I have this right here since we are going to be doing a lot of code, as I said. So go ahead and close that. Uh, since we're doing a lot, ton of code, it's going to be right here. So actually we have to do a little bit more in the .h file. Go ahead and press enter there and, and make a hashtag import and you want to use carrots. So here you're going to write message and it should automatically pop up. Just select that one and we're done with that. Now we have imported the actual framework uh, .h, I'm sorry, message UI .h from the message UI framework as you can see right there. That's that. Um, so 
now what we have to do is we actually have to add more carrots just beside the view controller. Now what we're going to do is it's going to be MF and there it is right there. Ma um, MF male composer view controller delegate. Um, we do not want to use this because it is a message composer. I will be doing a tutorial on that later on. Go ahead and select this and close the carrot. And just after we close the carrot, we're just actually done in the H file. So go to the .m file, and this is where you're going to need to... Um, sorry, uh, hold on. Copy and paste. Um, I'll have this text file down in the description because this is a lot. I will go over, over everything in it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, double press the return button and paste it in there. And I'm going to delete this. And we're just going to write my actual email, kyrowabs.gmail.com. And this is all the same. I just borrowed this code from a friend. Um, and now we actually have it all set. But now we actually have to go into the main storyboard and just uh, make sure that in the attributes it is hooked up to the uh, button. So just go to view controller. Show email is connected to it. So we are done just go ahead and run this on the simulator wait for it to load up there and I'll just put that right there there now it's gonna load up and there should be a little button right there that says contact us so go ahead and press that button. Gee, I wonder what's going on. I actually know what happened. I purposely did this to you guys because I wanted you guys to go to the ending of the video. What you actually have to do is you have to select S. I mean, not S. Uh, X out of this one. But I'm just going to connect both because I know that it would be easier that way. So... As you notice, nothing's popping up, nothing's working. Go ahead and press stop and restart it. Now watch this. You have the email. Um, so there's me, and I just tricked you, you guys, because I needed you guys to go to the end. And so if I just sent an email to this, it will not work because it's on a simulator. Um, but that is it. Um, if you have any video suggestions on any Xcode tutorial or any video that you would like me to do, just comment in the section below. Uh, or you can Skype me at Kyle Greenlaw. And also, please guys, subscribe. That helps me a lot. And uh, show me that you like me by hitting the like button. Uh, peace.